We're getting ready to have a high time. <laughs> Your story recently went viral because the whole world saw this photo of you guys. It was an interesting photo that popped up on the internet. What a photo. Uh, I mean, the house was filled with smoke, the book of Isaiah says. Uh, people are calling you the weed nuns. Please enlighten us. Who are you? What do you do? Tell us about yourselves. We uh, consider ourselves to be a self-declared, self-formed order of activist anarchist sisters. Uh, we live together. We work together. We pray together. We farm and we grow strains of cannabis that will not get anyone high. There are strains that have been developed in the last 10 to 15 years that are high in the pain relief and the curative healing powers, but they have virtually no psychotropics, so they won't get anyone high. This is our specialty. We ship these products all around the world, and we're in the business of healing people. So, so you believe in the medicinal value of marijuana, but you do smoke uh, cannabis. You smoke to get Absolutely. high. To get high as well. We, no, sir. Okay. No, Never? Sir. No, okay. sir. Okay. No, you sir. got it on your church clothes. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Okay. Uh, we do believe in the healing powers of the whole plant. We are activists for the whole plant. And you, sirs, if you want to diminish your chance of having Alzheimer's when you're old, wow. you will also take the THC, wow. which is the stuff that gets you stoned. Yes, we believe in the curative powers of the medicine, the whole plant. We live in a very, very poor, economically poor place in the Central Valley, where the people of color take the brunt of all the poverty, where the people of color are 57% of the, of the land, but they represent 0.1% of the lawmakers. So we chose to go CBD only or to these strains that won't get you high hmm. to bring outside money and outside jobs from the rest of the world to the poor people of the Central Valley. Okay? Well, let, well, let me ask you this question. Are you Catholic nuns? No, sir, we are so, not Catholic. So why do you call yourself nuns? That's your assumption. Okay. So, uh, uh, sir, the, uh, the Ooh, Catholic yeah. nuns... You don't let her do that, do you? No, I'm coming play. back. You don't <laughs> to us, it is a uniform. Wherever we go, we want people to know that we know through this uniform, just like you know a policeman or a fireman through their uniform, that these women know about plant-based medicine and they know about plant-based diets. Okay, let me be honest with you. A lot of my friends who espouse Catholicism would be really offended just by you dressing as nuns. Do you find this making mockery of those persons? What would be your response to someone who feels this is mockery to the Catholic Church? My own family's furious with me. Right. Because they're serious Catholics. Gotcha. So they're very angry. Uh, but the fact is, we know, and you guys know this better than anyone, that our traditional religions are losing our young people. They are not making commitments to religion like we did 30 or 40 years ago. So I feel like it's on us to develop new religions that will attract the young people. So all I've done is said I'm creating an order that's a sisterhood where you put your spirituality into your work, you live together, you pray together, you work together, but we modified it so that okay. we could attract the young.